I started young preaching and I used to preach standing on Coca-Cola boxes and uh, I would make my sister and our friends sit down and listen to me preach. I don't know how painful that was to them, but I enjoyed it. And I never stopped preaching. I think the Lord has been good to me in that he has given me shoes to wear, a sword to swing, a spiritual sword. He's given me courage. He's given me patience. Through all of that, I've come to serve him to the best of my ability. Well, you know, Jesus got in trouble and got crucified because he stood against the civil laws and the posture of the government toward the poor. It got him killed. I'm one of his disciples, and I took take a stand against the government's posture toward the poor. I haven't been crucified yet, and I'm hoping I don't, but as long as I'm living, I will cry out against the government's insensitivity toward the poor. And that's the reason I take the position I do. I'm following my Lord. Christians can't hide their candle on the bushel. They have to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This country has two original you know, songs that are native to, to our country. One is the blues, which come through the black experience, and the other is the country music that came through the experience with poor white folk. So God has shown his sensitivity to the gifts that he gave the poor black and white. And one of these days, we will realize that God gave us this in the commonality of our existence, and that we are one in the Spirit and one in the Lord. And the church say amen. <laughs>